Hey guys, this is Mr. Holly and Miss Light, and today we're going to be modeling the integer card game. In your notebooks and in many of the problems that we've done, you've seen references to an integer card game. Uh, you have these cards in your notebooks and your folders if you would like to cut them out, try to use them to play the game. But we honestly think it might be easier for you to just use regular playing cards. And we can model that by taking our regular deck of playing cards and removing all the jacks, queens, and kings so that all we're left with are cards two through 10 and aces, which we'll consider ones. Now, we'll be looking at this as positive and negative numbers. So as we go through the deck of cards, all of our red cards will represent negative numbers and all of our black cards will represent positive numbers. So Miss Light and I are gonna actually model how this game is played. Um, we will start by dealing four cards to each person. Now, Mr. Holly, what's the goal of this game? Now, the goal of this game is that I would like to have a score of zero with my hand of cards. So if I was to take a sum of all the cards in my hand, I would like to have zero. As you can see, I'm not doing very well off the deal. What would be my sum here? Well, negative one, negative seven, negative 10. That's negative 18. And now I've got a positive six. So that, I'm starting with a sum of negative 12. So I've got a lot of work to do to get to zero. All right, Miss Light. It'll be your turn to go first. You can either choose from the deck or you can pick the card that is face up. After you choose one card, you have to discard one from your hand, but you have to keep the one that you chose. Okay. I have a lot of negatives in my hand, so I don't want more negatives. I do too, maybe I didn't shuffle well enough. All right, now I have the choice to either t select this negative eight or pick from the deck. I'm gonna pick from the deck and I'm still very negative, but I can get rid of a number that is more negative or has a bigger absolute value further away from zero. Let me get rid of that one. That gets me a little closer to zero. Do you wanna show them what your score is now? Yeah, sure. So I had this negative 10 and I selected the negative four. So that took me down to negative 22, negative 16. So now if I get rid of this negative 10, I'm gonna be at negative six. Just making sure I'm doing that right. Yeah, negative six. All right, and now it's your turn, Miss Light. So I don't need any more negatives. I do kind of like hearing what your score is, so I know if I'm winning or not. Yeah. <laughs> Keep explaining that, Mr. Holly. Okay. So I just picked up a positive five. Okay, so now if I add these together, I see that's gonna be negative eight, that's negative 12, and positive 11. So if I get rid of this card, it doesn't really matter if I tell them it's like my score, because I have zero. Ooh. And we have one turn remaining, correct? Have we gone, four turns is the total. Have we gone twice or three times? I'm not sure, I was having too much fun to count. <laughs> I think we go two more times. All right, two more turns, let's go. And if we accidentally do five rounds, that's okay. Yeah. Picked up a five, so I need to get rid of a five. So can I discard the card I picked up, Mr. Holly? No, you have to keep that one. Okay. This is our last round. 
So I'm trying to think about how close I can get to zero here, and I'm actually gonna make a bold move, and I'm gonna take this negative two and discard my negative four. So now that's gonna give me a score of positive two, but I think that might be close enough to win, but I don't know. What does Miss Light have? Is it time to show? It is. Miss Light has seven positives and seven negatives making zero. Oh, and Mr. Holly has Woo! positive two. If we could have quit the game maybe two or three turns ago. <laughs> That's been a not good the shape, way it works. But it doesn't work that way. So I think this would be a good game to, to play at home, you know? Yeah. Maybe play 10 with, minutes a day. Play with siblings. If you have an older brother or sister, play with mom and dad. This is an easy way to practice our use of positive and negative integers. Cool. Thank you. Good luck.